Azure. News today, Microsoft teaming up on the AI side with OpenAI. Moves are being made in the cloud. The edge is developing. What's the analysis? ChatGPT created this awakening and I think it's accelerated the intensity within these specific sectors. And the focus is going to get greater. So those companies, my view, love to hear what Sarbjeet thinks, that really lean in aggressively are going to extend their position. Time compression, as Doug said, that, that's a huge thing, right? So everybody's trying to rush in and, and put the solutions out there. Right now, the, the usage of generative models is in the design time. But the problem is that how do you apply that at the runtime? Because at runtime, you need consistency and accuracy. Yeah. At design time, you, you have still, still have human in the picture. Yeah. But at runtime, you want to take the human out of the picture, right? There will be domain-specific LLMs, which will be more precise. And we love sports analogies, so I'll just say it. It's a pro game. Security is a speed game, and it's a pro game. The question is, does AI accelerate and open that bottom end of the feeder to bring up talent? First of all, I think you got to be cross-cloud. you got to be super cloud in security. Uh, that to me is, is table stakes. The second thing is you have to be applying AI and you do have to be best of breed at something. And as Jay, Jay Chaudhry was saying, if you try to stretch that too thin, you know, it's like when you're rolling the pizza dough and you get a hole in it, yeah. <laughs> you know, that creates So problems. if you don't have the game, you can't compete. That's what you're basically saying. If you don't have the game, you can't compete. The pro level is definitely different than college. It seems like it's a championship round. The hype cycle is strong. So it's a different kind of AI scene. The yeah. generative AI is super hyped, but it's new, but it's not, it's, the, it's machine learning too. I think it comes back to the design time versus the run time. It's also a lot, it's a lot harder to control what's happening throughout the network. I have been talking about these three types of systems, the system of record, system of differentiation, and systems of innovation, system demarcation, methodology. I think systems of record are very close to what we need from regulators point of view. Like we have accounting in place and we have regulators that look at your books and you can't just cook up stuff, right? So the systems of record will not be going anywhere near LLMs anytime soon. I think systems of innovation will very quickly, but and systems of engagement or systems of differentiation, they will flirt with these models pretty soon. Uh, and they are already doing that in many ways. Another aspect of looking at the problem, right? That is consumer versus the business. Mm -hmm. B2C, people are like odd, like, oh my God, this is cool stuff. And like, we all like, personally, we are like very pleasantly shocked. Like, oh, this is productivity, yeah. all that stuff. But when you go to business side, then you're like, hold on. <laughs> it was easier to do search on public information than inside a company. You had structured data, different databases. So I think the B2B market's interesting because you have one, confidential information, you have different infrastructure. Uh, and this brings up the conversation that we've been having around, okay, how do you define your value? Private is going to use LLMs differently because the, the operation, you have to operationalize it. So the question I guess for you guys is, is how should companies think about operationalizing the super cloud security and AI story? Because you know, we've heard some people, low hanging fruits, configuration, some automation, but observability comes up. How much data we have that we haven't harvested before? You know, the, the, the language model itself is going to be commodity, right? I can get it from Amazon, I can get it from Google, I can get it from Microsoft, I can get it from OpenAI, I can get it from open source. It's the data. And that's where you're going to get a moat. IA, information architecture, before AI. Yeah, nice you can't play have AI words. without IA, and you can't have AI without a, a, a data architecture. Just like cloud, we are in multi-cloud world right, right now. In AI, we will be in the multi-LLM world. We are going to replace this with this. Yes. Is that going to be generative? This is the question I have. Is that going to be generative AI? Is it, are you going to say, Tell me, who's, what's the signature of this DDoS? Is it, where's it coming from? Is it North Korea? Is it Iran? Yes. Is it China? Is it Russia? Whatever. And we had a very sophisticated sniffer. Actually, we call it CMDB, but it was not. But anyways, long story <laughs> there, right? <laughs> so like, we, were, we were looking at every nth packet on the network. Mm -hmm. Once you get that packet, now you want to analyze like, what it is. Like, what's the signature of the, the payload, right? Then you can give it to the LLMs and, and generative AI kind of you know, mechanism. Find out what is this? Is this malware? Who's attacking us? Depends on the data. Their reasoning yeah. is based upon only supervised, not unsupervised. My vision would be that the fusion of data, interplaying between data sets, is going to be a new thing that's going to be outside the scope of traditional, like how to organize data in a warehouse or cloud. Because if data is free to move around and interact, that's where the generative AI could really kick in. It, it, 
here's what I think. I think because it's probabilistic, the way in which Gen AI models, at least ChatGPT, is going to approach it is when there's a lack of confidence, it's going to communicate that to the prompter and or ask the prompter questions. Can you tell me more? Just think of these LLMs as individuals for a minute, right? Models will be same way. Specialized model will have more accuracy. I believe that we will have like security models for different type of industries as well, and, and industry models itself, like for regulators. Security plus AI is the theme for SuperCloud 3. What's your final take? SuperCloud momentum, and then the second question is the security plus AI, what's the critical uh, message there? I think SuperCloud momentum is to, that, that we have to make the the multi-cloud work, and to make that work, we need another abstraction layer, and that's why we see the rise of companies like Cloudflare and Snowflake, and all these companies are built on top of cloud. Now, the cloud providers are ha like having second thoughts about should we play in that one la layer above. Amazon is having this sort of identity crisis there, I believe. They are saying, oh, we are builders cloud. But on the other side, Microsoft is saying, oh, we will give you these apps, which are like AI apps. A lot of experts say that, that ChatGPT4 is an uh, LLM app. It's not LLM itself. It's mm -hmm. an app. It's an app. It's an app, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so they have an app there. These, these people are saying, we will let you build LLMs, or we, will ha we have our one of our own. So th there's a lot of uncertainty there. I usually say that technology is like medicine, right? And every pill has a side effect, and so so will AI. Mm -hmm. And there's over-the-counter AI, which is the, the these LLMs, which are public LLMs, and they're pre prescriptive AI, like just like medicines, which will be just for you, made for you, because you have certain kind of symptoms, right, that you're trying to fix as a company. Staggered AI adoption, of course, security is a huge problem because bad guys have access to the same tools what good guys have, and bad guys can break more rules than the good guys <laughs> can. Um, in many ways, the, even the, the good guys look bad these days, you know. Uh, Sam Altman going around the world, you know, saying like, okay, oh, it's a very dangerous thing, it's a very dangerous thing, but he's cooking it up on the fly. It, yeah. Very tricky situation. Yeah. I think that's there. a hedge too. Sarjit, thanks for coming on, Dave. Great analysis.